now we're going to do the whole assembly part. You take your little piece, hide the seam on the back. Since I didn't flip mine inside out, it was too little. You can take your elastic, take one end, put it in the middle. You don't want to have a piece of thread ready because this is the part where you have a hand sew. What is this? It's not going to take too much work. I mean, hand sewing is probably the easiest thing to do. Even if you don't know how to sew, it's not that hard at all. Just make sure you sew it very tightly and securely. You're not just going to put like two or three stitches in it. It's going to take like about five each side to make sure the elastic is secure. Because they will rip off eventually if you don't make it a good stitch. You don't have to cut it right now. You're just going to fold this to the other side. Like I said earlier, it's going to take a lot less time if you have your members helping you out. It will take about 45 minutes to do a whole manual if you do it by yourself. But if you have a group members helping you, it could take up to like 15 minutes. It won't take very long whatsoever. And especially if you're like in a hurry, you're like, oh, we need new manuals for something. Like, you can't wear a certain color at something, like, if you get hired for a funeral or whatever, you can't wear, like, <laughs> pink or something to the funeral, you know? So, it's always good to have, like, a darker colored, like, more sophisticated looking monial. And then a more fun looking monial. Because you never know. Well, this is mainly for, like, groups that are barely starting. It's just some advice. <laughs> Because we, we got hired at a funeral one time and we only had yellow. We got rid of our yellow monos because they were just hideous. It was just the fabric that I happened to have on me at the time. So we made the monos really quick and then we got hired for that funeral. And we're like, oh, well, we're not going to wear yellow to a funeral. It's just not right. It's, it's rude. So we made purple ones like starting three days before the funeral. And we ended up just like pulling everything together because we didn't have enough time to finish all nine. So it's, it's a little ridiculous. So yeah, just have your group members help. Schedule a day instead of having practice or something. Just schedule a day like, hey, we're going to make monials. Ow, I just poked myself. What I do when I finish knotting these, I do about five or six knots to make sure that your string will stay because you're going to tie this around the monos really tightly and if you don't do enough knots, the strings, the threads will rip because it's they're this small for reasons to keep everything together. Like you're not going to sew everything together and then like just round it off. It's actually just holding everything together instead of putting thread through everything. So yeah, about five, six knots will do. So what you're gonna do, you can take all your pieces, take your middle piece, trim off whatever's hanging over that you might think is gonna be visible. Um, don't cut off where the thread, where you finish the threading because it'll make it fall apart. Just be extra careful when you're trimming. Okay, so, you stack them um, smallest to biggest. This line that you're making is going to go face down. 
So, in case you were wondering, what you're gonna do, you're gonna bunch it all up in the middle. It's not gonna look like ammonia at first, so don't worry about it if it's like sticking out like a bozo clown tie or anything. What you're gonna do is take this, make sure where the seams are in the back are going to be in the back because that's where your collar is going to be. You're just gonna wrap it out around like as tightly as possible. I made this one just a hair too small, but nobody's gonna notice, like I said. Like the past five times. <laughs> I tend to repeat myself, so I'm sorry. And you're just gonna kinda adjust it a little bit while it's on before you sew. See how mine is crooked, you're just gonna adjust. So you just pull on one side. That's why we're not sewing them together. Like as one piece. You could always like take one apart. Like if this one rips, you're not gonna disassemble the whole monial. You just like, oh well just take it out and make a new front piece and add it on. Okay. Oh I let go, sorry. Where your thing, your centerpiece finishes should also be in the back. You don't want that showing either because most likely you're just going to... It's just going to like show in the front if you sew it towards the front. So if it's... It's always better to make it a little longer so you could just trim it. So that's why I said five and a half inches. If I were you, maybe even six and a half inches just so you have enough room, especially if you haven't made more nails before. It's a lot easier just to cut stuff off versus trying to stretch it too far and ripping it or something. So you're just going to pin it. Make little knots in your thread so you could sew it together. And with these modules, it doesn't matter which side goes up or if it's upside down or whatever unless you do put embroidery on. So make sure you want it the direction, or you face it the direction you want it before you do your embroideries, because sometimes it'll look weird if like the elastic is in a certain part of it. Like this one's gonna be really high on mine. It's gonna be weird if I try putting it on like this. So like just put it the way you want it face up. It's not gonna be too big a deal. Of course, if you guys use buttons on your shirts, I know a lot of mariachis have the buttons on their shirts so they can put the buttonholes from the ammonia in. I'm not too sure how to do that, that's why we just use the elastics. But I'm sure it's probably not too hard. You just make little holes where the buttons would go as long as you measure it correctly. Like if you're good at that whole measuring thing or whatever, then it shouldn't be too hard whatsoever. Gonna try to readjust this for the second time, or third time, whatever, just to make sure it's pretty even. So all the pieces are gonna be showing on each side. Make sure that it happens. The long piece is gonna be a whole lot longer than these ones, of course, because you still have to do the whole triangular thing, which isn't that hard. You just so or you just fold it so that it makes a pretty decent triangle, and you just sew the tips of wherever you pin it, you just sew the tip and that's it. You're not going to sew the whole thing because it takes away from the whole lively body thing. Final step will be face it the way you want it. We'll be putting this together so it makes the bow tie look and then making the triangles. So just click on my next part and we'll just finalize that and we'll be done.